Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. So about a month ago, we dropped a video on how to get really quick loading speeds on your Shopify store. Like I'm talking scores of 80 and above on Google's page speed. It's a really hard thing to do. And um, yeah, we dropped a ton of knowledge on there. So if you want to learn how to do that, go check out that video. It's a short video. Um, and we got a comment, uh, someone asking how do we uh, make different images for different screen sizes or different sizes of images for different screen sizes which is one of the tips that we got on there so this video is just a quick response to that so what are responsive images um the best way to explain you explain that is to show you an example so normally on a website you'd have this which is an image tag and it's just got an src which is where the image is being loading from so you can see this image has a width of 3500 and it looks pretty good it looks okay um the problem is we're loading in a 2,500 pixel wide image when I've only got a screen size of, well, how big is the screen size now? So you can see up here, 1,359. So we've got about an extra thousand pixels which was loaded in which we didn't actually need to use. This becomes a really big problem when you have like a mobile screen. So for most people using phones, for example, iPhone X, it's about 300, 390 pixels wide. So if you're loading in an image, which is 2,500, that is seven to eight times the width, which you just actually don't need. So that is why you need responsive images because you're increasing your loading time of a website because you're loading in extra unnecessary images, big images that you don't need. This is what a responsive image looks like. So instead of having just one SRC, it has this SRC set attribute, which has different sizes of images. So as you can see here, it has a size of image for 352 width, one for 832, one for 1200, one for 1920. So if you're looking at a screen that's 800 pixels wide, instead of getting uh, an image that's 2500 pixels, we'll get an image, you'll you get a served image that's 832. So that's all that you're loading in instead of loading in a huge image for no reason. And as you can see, this works perfectly for mobile too. If you want to know the likes of the people using stuff like this, you've got big brands like Gymshark. So you can see even on their images for their main banners, they've got way more uh, breakpoints. So you've got a 96, 110, 140, 256. I can go on and on. So this is like the kind of people who are using uh, responsive images. So some of the biggest brands out there. So you can see even on skims that they've got um, it's SRC set attributes for their image banners as well. What I wanted to point out, which is something, another tip we mentioned on the video was not using images that are bigger than 2,500 pixels. 2,500 pixels should be like the max width you have for uh, any image on your website, period. Um, so you can see on skims here, even on their main banner for their website, the biggest width that they've got is 1,600 pixels. And again, this is one of the biggest brands using Shopify in the world. So if they're using an image that's 1,600, there's no reason for you guys to use an image that's really much bigger than that. So always compress your images and make sure they're less than 1,600 uh, or 2,500 would be the maximum I recommend. So how do we use responsive images? So Shopify actually introduced this on October 11, 2022. And it, it's, it's done by using a filter, which is image tag filter. You can do it yourself custom. Um, so I'll leave a link to the descript description uh, filters. It's just in the API and docs image tag. And what you do is you put in a liquid expression for the image, and then it prints out an image tag for you. So instead of having an image tag and instead of SRC, uh, having the URL generated, it will generate the entire image um, image tag for you. And then obviously put in the responsive things like SRC set and the sizes attribute as well, which you can also specify if you want different sizes. Um, so yeah, if you want what Gymshark had, you want different sizes for 10 different breakpoints, you can have that too. So that is how you use responsive images. Um, if you want to use this section, uh, which will have responsive images, so this will be um, image like will have responsive images. We'll leave the code for this in the description. You just need to copy it, uh, press edit code on your website, go to the sections folder, add new section, call it C image banner or something. I just called it my C image banner, paste in the code. You'll be able to add it in the customizer, customize it and use it for your own store. So yeah, that's responsive images. Hopefully that was useful uh, to someone and obviously the person who commented. 
if you do have any other questions feel free to comment we'll try and respond as quickly as we can hope you guys all have a great week